the number of complaints and incorrect information on your personal credit report has more than doubled as far as the year 2020 goes. Let's talk about it, baby. Welcome to Cakeology. This is B.O.B., nothing but the best of the best. If you guys are interested in money, business, and credit, daily videos, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. All right, I wanna get right into it. Uh, I'm making this video based on a New York Times article that came out about seven days ago. I'm gonna leave that link of the article in the description below. Now, basically, what they're talking about is that complaints mean incorrect information, disputes, more than doubled in 2020 as compared to 2019. Now, I wanna talk about this in a couple of different angles. Number one, what does this mean for us? And number two, is this, can, can, we, can, can we use this as a, as a plus or is it just all a negative? First and foremost, in 2020, more than 280,000 disputes and complaints were made regarding personal credit. So what does that mean? Well, that means that a lot of credit bureaus are not doing things the right way. It means that, hey, the government's got all of these deals going on as far as, hey, we can you uh, roll, roll back. So a lot of these complaints were based on the new rules and regulations that have come out recently. Now, what are some of these rules and regulations? Well, for example, the Biden administration has extended the suspension of federal student loans through September 30th. That's number one. So meaning that, hey, credit bureaus are marking people late on their business loans. I mean, correction, on their student loans when they should not be doing that because of what is going on during the pandemic. That's number one, really, really important. So borrowers with federally owned student loans will continue to have payments suspended without penalty and will have their interest rate set to 0%, okay? Borrowers of private student loans aren't automatically entitled to the suspension. So that is important to know if you do have a student loan out there and maybe you were marked late on your credit report and you should not have been. Now the administration also gave homeowners through June 30th to enroll in a program to seek a pause in federally backed mortgage payments. So generally, if you were up to date with payments, when they were paused, the loans must be reported as current to the credit bureaus. Any suspension of or deferral of credit card payments is at the discretion of the bank issuing the card. So consumers should contact the issuer directly to discuss these options. Very, very important, okay? So if you guys have been affected by the pandemic, if you've gotten forbearance on your mortgage or on your federally backed student loans it is really really important that you guys check your credit reports and make sure that you haven't been marked late for any of those items okay now as i said earlier those reports have been incorrect like crazy in 2020 okay so sometimes the credit bureaus are not getting it right it is really, really important for us to make sure that we're watching our personal credit, that we're monitoring our personal credit, and that we're disputing incorrect information on our personal credit. As you guys very well know, I talk about personal credit and business credit. Both are really, really important. I believe in the credit fusion theory, which is, hey, you have to have good personal credit to build up that business credit as well. Now you can do it with net 30 vendor accounts like a talk about when we're talking about building our business credit and i've got two of the hottest ones in the links in the description below make sure you guys check those out for show sure. all right now if you guys are wondering how you can check your personal credit report well as you guys know there's things like the credit karma there's things like credit sesame and also you can go to annualcreditreport.com where you can get a free annual credit report 
on all three bureaus okay so it's really really important that you guys are aware of what your personal credit looks like now if there is something that's incorrect on that personal credit report you can definitely dispute it you can definitely dispute it with all three bureaus we all know what those three bureaus are we've got transunion we've got equifax and we've got experian it is important that we dispute the erroneous information on our personal credit it and make sure that it is reporting properly as you guys very well know having that good personal credit means a lot if you have any blemishes on your credit it can cost you a lot of money it can cost you extra money on your insurance it can cost you extra money uh, as far as higher interest rates go and it can even you know be detrimental as far as you getting uh, a mortgage or you getting even a rental property in the future so it's really really important that we make sure that our personal credit is untainted during this pandemic there's a lot of stuff going on during these times okay and the administration has provided relief but some of those uh, relief measures are not being reported properly to the three credit bureaus so even if you contact the lender even if you contact them and say hey listen you guys are reporting me late uh what's going on here a lot of times we'll say hey listen we're not reporting you late okay you have to talk to the credit bureaus so the only way to do that is to submit the dispute letters now make sure you guys have a paper trail when you're submitting disputes to the personal credit bureaus i always say that when you send out a dispute letter to any one of the three credit bureaus to make sure you guys send it out with a return with a return receipt and send it out certified that paper trail is going to be huge when it comes to sending out follow-up letters if they don't remove that erroneous information right away so it is really important for us to make sure that we're monitoring our personal credit, especially during these times here. OK, if you guys have been affected by the uh, the pandemic financially, if you have student loans out there, hey, there is relief. If you have mortgages out there, there's also relief. If you've taken advantage of that relief and you're still getting these lates and this erroneous information being reported to your personal credit reports, it is really important to get that taken care of. Now, as I mentioned earlier in 2020, these these disputes and this erroneous information has more than doubled when it comes to 2019. I don't see that changing anytime in 2021. Okay. So now how can we use this, you know, as an advantage to us when we're disputing other information? So listen, this is the way I think about it. Okay. The credit bureaus are getting double the dispute letters. That means, Hey, those resources are running kind of thin. OK, this is a great time if you have other erroneous information on your personal credit report. So, for example, if you have unverified collection accounts, I always talk about don't pay those collection accounts first, dispute those accounts and to the and verify the validity of that collection account. If you have late payments, if you have any type of blemishes on your personal credit, now might be a great time to start disputing that information. Now, remember, the credit bureaus, they have up to 30 days within to verify that information that you're disputing. If they cannot verify it, that must be removed. OK, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you guys take advantage of this time where it might be a little bit easier for you guys to dispute this stuff. OK, listen, everybody is, you know, their resources are running a little bit of thin. OK, so I'm not saying, hey, you know, I, I'm not happy about the situation. But what I'm saying is, is that, listen, whatever the situation is, we didn't create it. We always wish and hope and pray for the best. But if we can use any particular circumstance to our advantage, I think it would behoove us to do that. Now, make sure you guys subscribe, like, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily videos. I'm coming out with daily videos. 
If you guys want a free 15 minute consultation with me, the link is in the description below. I got two diamonds as far as net 30 trade lines. They're in the link in the description below. If you're just starting your business and haven't registered it yet, check out also my ink file link in the description below where you can register your business for free. Until next time, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. And until then, peace and love, baby.